Hi there. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the amount of things you need to do to create a scenario-based course? You know what I'm talking about. Brainstorming ideas, collaborating with the SMEs, drafting, revising, and reviewing. But what if I told you that generative AI can help you easily do all that heavy lifting? Get ready to be blown away by ChatGPT. Just like you prompt ChatGPT for other activities like editing some text, writing an article, drafting a response, or creating a social media post for you, you can also ask it to write scenarios for you. Here's the prompt that I give to ChatGPT to generate a scenario-based course. First, I ask it to assume a role of an instructional designer. Then, I let it know the task which is to create a scenario-based course. I've also mentioned the topic and the specific skills that need to be covered in the scenario. I let it know the number of decision points I need in that scenario and that I also wanted to strictly follow Kathy Moore's action mapping design. Then I've added other instructions about the tone of the course. And that's it. ChatGPT starts generating the scenario for me. Then I start reviewing it and whatever is missing or needs some changes, I ask it to do those changes in the further prompts. Let's take a look at the scenario that it has generated and you can see that it has given a nice title for the scenario. Then it has given some introduction where Jane is facing some dilemma in the scenario. So here what I find missing is that the number of options under each decision is less. Here we have two. I need at least three. And I wanted to mention which one is the correct uh, response, which one is partially correct and which is completely incorrect in this particular decision. So let's add that. And also I see that there is no transition uh, between these decisions. So uh, I'll ask it to add those transitions as well. So let's say regenerate the scenario with three options under each decision point. One should be absolutely correct, one partially correct, and the third incorrect. Also add transition between these decisions so that it flows well and assign scores for each option so that the learner is able to see the final score okay so i've added this prompt and now let's see how chat gpt is able to transform this and while it's generating you can see that now we have 10 5 and 0 scores and now it has generated these options into uh, in you know partially correct correct and incorrect. And then you have this transition statement as well. So here you can see it is following my instructions to the T. Now what if I want more scenarios to be generated for my course? I just have to tell ChatGPT to generate one more scenario which is different from this scenario. Let's add that prompt. Generate a new scenario using the same set of prompts which is different from the original. So this will give you the second uh, scenario and you can include it. Now this uh, scenario that you're generating can be used by returning learners. So if they just want to uh, go through one more scenario to practice their skills, they can go ahead and uh, use this scenario. Or if you want to have multiple scenarios in your course, you can easily use this option. Now here you can see that it has stopped midway uh, in the course flow. Whenever this happens, uh, you can just say continue and ChatGPT will generate the rest of it. Now here you can see that uh, the scenarios that we generated, uh, they uh, had a linear flow. It was uh, decision point one, feedback, decision two, feedback, decision three. What if you want it to be adaptive? You can use ChatGPT for that as well. So I'll just add one more prompt for it, which says, can you convert this scenario so that it follows an adaptive learning path instead of a linear path? Uh, let's see if it is able to do that. And you can see that it starts regenerating uh, the scenario with uh, adaptive path. And every option you choose takes you to a different path. And you don't have to stop here. You can ask ChatGPT to include some game mechanics as well for your scenario. Some of the things that I do after ChatGPT completes the generation of the scenario is to 
copy and paste that text into a document in my storyboard template and then i start reviewing how the things are flowing and if any change is required if something simple is there i just go and do it myself or if i want chat gpt to change the tone of the content or change the scenario altogether i take it back to chat gpt and tell it to make those required changes it's all about asking the right questions to get the right responses from chat gpt Wasn't that mind blowing? Do give it a try. I would also like to know how you are using ChatGPT for creating your digital learning courses. Do share your experiences by leaving a comment here. Let's learn from each other. Thanks for watching.